That's the Luton captain. Across to the right-hand side, and James Bree, formerly of Barnsley and Aston Villa, clips it forward towards Carlton Morris, takes it down on his chest. Yukushlu can't win it off him. Here's Morris, 30 yards from goal. The space is out on the left. Morris goes himself. Oh, what a strike that is from Carlton Morris. Catches Albion Coles. Nobody was expecting him to shoot from there, but he did left-footed. And the ball nestles in the bottom corner. Certainly Palmer wasn't expecting it, and that's a terrible start. I can't actually see where, how close it was, but... It's a big kick forward. Adebayo tries to win it against Yukuzlu, and Adebayo gets away from the Turkish international and draws in the foul as well. Yukuzlu drags him down to the floor. And it comes from Bree towards the back post, towards Adebayo! It's 2-0 Luton! Well, he's the tallest man in the penalty area, and Albion couldn't stop him from getting his head on the ball. He powers it past Alex Palmer. It's Luton Town 2, West Bromwich Albion 0. Matty Phillips on the other wing. Matty's seen a lot more of the ball, he's doing well. He comes on the goalkeeper's lap, he just lost it. It's oh, up the air, the it's up the crossbar, and it's bouncing around. Oh. Albion just can't get the ball in. It's come out to the right-hand side. Wallace's delivery, header comes in again, but it's nodded away. DK heads the ball, cannons back off the bar, as you said. And it's better from us. Back to Palmer. Oh. Palmer took a chance, and thankfully oh, oh, oh. got his feet sorted out just in time to get it away from Adebayo. Refined Dar O'Shea, but that was oh, a very that was a nervy oh, moment. Yes. O'Shea, great ball through towards DK, oh. and DK tries to chip yes, it over the goalkeeper. He's gone past it, and it's in to the in far there. corner. And Albion have got one back. <laughs> Daryl DK loops the ball over his fellow American Horvath, and I don't think he even needed a second touch. He chased it all the way in with a Luton defender chasing back as well. Great ball through from the skipper, Dar O'Shea, but there's the route back into this one that the Albion were after. Daryl DK on target. Well, you've got to say, it's a great bit of skill from Palmer in the goal with a little drag back. He then finds O'Shea, who puts a great ball forward. He gets a bit of a, a ricochet and it spins towards the Luton goal. And as you said, Jez, no other touch needed from Daryl DK. And we're back in the game, 2 1, and deserved as well. Solid defensive shape. Townsend looking to cross it early towards oh. Malumbi, headed away by Amari Bell. Furlong nods it straight back out to the right hand side, and Phillips, that's a dangerous oh. looking ball. Oh, Carter oh. oh. heads it towards goal. Uh, Wallace trying to turn on the ball. It's laid back towards Townsend who shoots it. Saved by the goalkeeper. Malumbi! Yes, get in there! Two -two. Jason Malumbi races away behind the goal and celebrates in front of the Albion fans. It's a scrappy goal, but the baggies won't care. From 2-0 down, they're back on level terms. It's 2-2 at Kenilworth Road. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll talk about the goal in a minute, Jess, but let's talk about how brave Diagana is there at the back post. He goes in, he throws his head in with the goalkeeper. Brave as you like, it comes out. From then on, it's scrappy. And I'll tell you what, it lands on Jason Malumbi, and I'm so pleased for him. He's been exceptional the last few weeks. All-round performance has been different class. The work rate, he's covered every blade of grass and he's just got his reward with a, an equaliser. Fantastic goal. I did say it, it's 2 0 next goal. Whoever scores the next goal goes on and win the game. God, I hope I'm right. Been the first time for, been the first time for years, Jess. <laughs> it's a really difficult finish, actually. Come on, ref, that's right a DK goes down inside the box. Albion not trying somewhere? to keep it alive. Dian Garner. Albion looking for a third goal. What a turnaround it would be. Oh, it's never in doubt, Jess. It's never in doubt. Dian Garner. Phillips. Onto his right foot. Cross what comes in. Oh, it's 3-2. Oh, it's 3-2. Oh, 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 oh. And Connor Townsend meets it at the back post. What the ball the... rifles into oh, the roof of the net. Is... What a turnaround at Kenilworth Road from <laughs> West Bromwich Albion. Look at the scenes in the away end. From 2-0 down. To three two ahead, it's Connor Townsend's first ever league goal for West Bromwich Albion. Well, I don't want to tell you I told you so, Jez, but I told you so. What a ball this is from Matty Phillips. This that makes the goal. The support, our support is behind the goal. You asked me if it made a difference. Look at that. That's the difference it makes, Jez. Unbelievable. It's a long kick from him. 
Ajayi has missed it. It might be in behind. Oh, and what a header. Nods it what a header. That is so calm from the Irishman with Harry Cornick on his back <laughs> oh, over his shoulder. I'll tell you, don't think that's easy. He's running it full clip. Back to Alex Palmer. That is sensational defending from Dara O'Shea.